Hello dear students and welcome back to a new video and in this opportunity we're gonna see some new vocabulary words. Basically there's gonna be some new words that uh, of nouns that ends in Y and how we can create those nouns into adjectives and also new other words that will be described in the task that you may find at the end of this video. So let's begin. First take into account and let's review what it's a noun. Remember that a noun is a person, place, thing, an idea that we are talking about in a sentence. In this opportunity, I share with you some examples, those nouns that ends in Y, such as democracy, electricity, family, industry, history, luxury, mystery, technology, tendency, psychology, supply, and library. I don't know if it comes to your mind any other noun that ends in Y. Now, how can we create those words into adjectives? But first, but first remember that adjectives are going to be those characteristics or descriptions that we give to our noun, such as big, small, hot, or cold. Take into account that there's going to be tons of adjectives that you can just describe to your noun. Taking into account previous nouns that ends in Y, I want you to take into account two main things. How it changes the word at the end of it and the pronunciation, how also it changes a bit. Let's first begin with the with uh, how we write each one of the words. Democracy, I just removed this part of the word and I have democratic, okay? Electricity, electric or electrical, it's gonna be the same. Luxury, luxurious. Mystery, mysterious. I don't know if you just analyze my pronunciation right now as you can see my intonation and the power that i give to a specific vowel in the noun will be different from the power or strength of my pronunciation that i give to another vowel in the adjective let's listen it again democracy my strength will be in this O, oh, democracy and democratic. My powerful intonation will be in this A, democracy, democratic, electricity, electric, electricity, electrical, luxury, luxurious, mystery, mysterious. You can listen the difference of my pronunciation depend, depending in the noun or the adjective. So, take into account again two things. Not only that the word changes, but also my pronunciation. There is not like a specific rule that you have to take into account how to change the noun from an adjective. It is just about English skills and that's why this is a vocabulary new words because vocabulary the only way that we can learn vocabulary new words will be by reading listening and writing so all these will depend on you just only let's see some examples so you will see the differences when we use a noun in why and adjective that we change from this now. Let's begin. Democracy encourages freedom. What I am saying here first, that I am talking about the in general terms of the political party of democracy, and that this political party encourages freedom, that in a certain way I am given my personal definition of democracy, right? 
So I am talking about in general terms in this opportunity. But what if I change this democracy into an adjective, democratic? I cannot say democratic encourages freedom. Because remember that I am not talking about a noun. I am talking about an adjective. And remember that an adjective in English, it's going to be always next to the noun that I am talking about. So, for example, in this case, in a democratic nation, the government encourages freedom. So, as you can see, I am not talking about in general terms of the political party of democracy. I am talking about a country that practices a democracy that is democratic. Okay? So I am talking first talking about a specific nation that is democratic. Okay? In a democratic nation, the government encourages freedom. So as you can see, it's going to be totally different the meaning when I used a noun that ends in Y, and how we can change into an adjective, but the context, it's going to be totally different. So, this is all for today. So, the activities that you're going to solve for this opportunity, you will have, or you will need, your student's book, page 65. You're going to work activity 8, 10, and 11. In activity 8, you will see some words, okay? Sorry, in activity 7, you will see some words such as democracy, history, industry, luxury, electricity, and some others. And uh, basically what I ask you in activity 8 is for you to change those nouns into adjectives. But when you're going to do this activity, you will just realize that not all of the nouns that ends in Y, it will have the possibility to change them into adjectives. And you will see um, when you're going to work in this task. Remember to use an, a dictionary or research and internet if you need it, so you will see uh, the adjectives that you just create can create from the nouns. In activity 10, basically, you're gonna, after you just solve activity 8, you will have the possibility to solve activity 10. That basically, you have to complete the sentences using the adjectives that you already created. Okay, not the noun, adjectives. And 11, as I told you at the beginning of this video, you're going to learn some other new vocabulary terms. Okay, it's going to be in the verb zone, verb zone, in which basically you have five words or terms, okay, phrases. Be taken in, hack in or hack into. Log on or log on to set up and pay off. In activity 11, you will have the different uh, concepts of or meanings for each one of them. So you will have to research to which one it corresponds. Okay? So these activities, you're going to do it in a Word document or a sheet of paper. Please, I don't want it in the student's book. Okay, because for me, it's a little bit more harder to read it. And well, it is easier for me if you present it in this format. Okay, so remember that if you have any question or if there's any doubt or you want to solve the activities with me, you may just join to the Zoom session and we can work together. Okay. Also, we are going to check all these activities tomorrow in a Zoom class. So be prepared and be sure that you just solve all the activities and the tasks that I just described in this video. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it. And remember that uh, it is important for you to keep on practicing English every single day. Okay, be familiar with, with it. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Take care and keep on working the way you're doing. See you for a next opportunity.